everyone. It is Sunday afternoon here on the ranch and we have a heifer in labor. So let's see if we can catch this on camera. This is Minnie. She was purchased from a friend last year. She is half Hereford, half Angus. I'm hoping we're gonna get a white face heifer out of her, but she's in active labor. I did notice about 30 minutes ago that she was leaking fluid. She is a yeller. <laughs> I'm gonna move her into her own pen where we do have access to uh, the chute if we need to. And let's watch this baby be born. All right, Minnie, I'm gonna set some gates, okay? So right now the heifers have access to all of these different corrals so they can have water. I'm gonna put her probably in this far one. That's so we're good on gates. I can just push her through. Then if I need to run her into the chute, we go through that gate right there. So hopefully she moves easily for me. She is obviously in labor and somewhat agitated, which is understandable. She also wants number 22. She just wants to skip the labor part and just have the baby. Come on, Minnie. Come on. If I get two, I get two. I'll sort that out when we get there. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Come on. Uh, do you want to just do it in here? We can do that. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> All right, we'll get this gate first so she can't go backwards. She's by herself. I'm gonna lock these guys out. I can move them back, but we'll just give them a few over here. Let's sit and watch a baby be born. I decided to record a little voiceover for this because I just decided to sit and watch her and to be really quiet. And that seemed to make her not very nervous. So after the fact, I'm gonna record this audio and kind of walk you guys through this process and explain what is happening. So she's in active labor at this point, but very early. You know, she's very uncomfortable. She doesn't seem agitated with me, which is nice. She's just kind of walking around, trying to get comfortable. She's doing a lot of up and down. You can see she's having a contraction by her tail being up. And it's great that she laid down. That's of course what we want to see is I wanna see her lay down, settle in and work on getting that baby out. She is having some time in between contractions at this point. They're not super close together, although they're probably just like two to three minutes apart. You can tell by her body posture and stuff that right now she's not having a contraction. She'd just look at me when she wasn't having a contraction, just making sure I was still there. You 
you can see her tail popping up by those chickens there. So now I can tell that she's having a contraction. Of course, she didn't lay down where I could see what was happening. I, of course, decided to switch positions so we could see. So now I'm sitting in the alley where cows typically get sorted and put into the different Aeroquip pens. At this point, the chicken doula army has arrived in full force. They thoroughly enjoy heifer calving season here in the corrals. They're not very helpful, but they are there. So I can see the sack is still intact. I can see definitely one foot for sure. I can tell that it's pointed the right direction, so this is not a breech birth. The chicken doula participants mm. do definitely agitate her throughout this process, but there's not really much I can do about them because if I go in to try and move them out of the way, I'm just going to agitate her further, and that's obviously not what I want to be doing. So I was somewhat concerned just because of her position and where I was at in the alley. I could really only see one foot and I didn't want to move around a lot and try and get to see the other foot. And so I just kind of had to just kind of wait and see. She didn't seem to be having any problems. You know, she did seem to be progressing and the contractions were, you know, they were making progress and stuff. So I just even though I couldn't confirm at this point that I had two feet, I felt like we were making progress and there was no reason for me to, to go in and agitate her. I did edit and cut out a lot of the, the repetitiveness of what labor is of, you know, you, you make some progress, it, you sit and wait, you make some progress, you sit and wait. And so this isn't the birth process in entirety. It is the edited version. I'd say it took her probably about 45 minutes altogether to deliver. So really decent time for a heifer. You can see her pretty white belly. And again, those chickens, they're just, they really think that they're helpful. It's very common for them to lay flat out while they're having contractions, and you can definitely tell at this point she's working on pushing the head through, which of course is the most difficult part. So this is very common body language. There's nothing happening here that would give me any concern. And then again, that contraction slows down and stops, and she sits back up. And checks me out. I love her face markings. She's so symmetrical in the face. She's just so pretty. And we're just waiting, waiting for another contraction. She's getting a little rest. You can definitely tell that her breathing has increased. But she's not in distress.
I was kind of hopeful that the chickens would break that sack so that I could see if there was two feet. But they, they just did their chicken thing and weren't, they weren't helpful. At some point during all of this, my microphone also became unplugged. And so we just, we lost the ambience of the chickens and the wind. That is Wyoming. As we get into May and warmer weather, you know, that happens at the end of April and beginning of May, it sure is nice to, to calve on these sunny days with less wind and not a blizzard and sunshine. And it was just really nice to sit in the alley there and watch her and look at the pretty sky and enjoy the sunshine. Here comes another contraction. Usually I can always tell even if their head doesn't change, but if their their back feet will kind of stretch out and their legs will move, and that's kind of the, the first sign that a contraction is starting. And then obviously you can see in her belly and, you know, her whole body that she is having a really strong contraction. At this point, the contractions were getting longer, which is good. Again, another sign of progress. I just always really enjoy being there when the heifers have their babies just because they've never done this. You know, I obviously want to make sure there's correct presentation. And I just really enjoy being there when calves are born. It's It doesn't so much happen with the cows, although I've been there for some of them. It just, I, or I've been there right after. But because these guys are in the corrals and we're checking them all the time, like it's much easier to actually get to be with them, you know, when they deliver or you know, and to be there to help them if they need it, which she's doing great. Like, I can see that she's doing what she needs to do. She's very dramatic there. <laughs> this contraction is lasting a long time. And it seems like now we're finally kind of, she's got some relief. She's in between contractions again. Still about the same amount of feet out, although I think it was easier in person to tell, but I think we had just the beginning of the nose showing at this point. So then I felt like, okay, yeah, we've got correct presentation. I can just sit back and watch. I know at this point that we're getting close and that she should be delivering in just a couple of contractions, if not maybe just the next one. So I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the miracle of birth.
All right, so we have another calf on the ground and it's a white-faced heifer. So I'm super happy. I was somewhat nervous that we didn't have correct presentation. I could not see if there was two feet for a while, but she did it as you can see on her own. So that's great. I just went and checked cows. Two more calves born today out in the field. So that's great. Uh, we've got two heifers left. I honestly thought number 20 was gonna go before Minnie did. So. Almost done, two heifers, I think uh, seven or eight cows left to go. So we're getting close. I'm gonna put these guys back where they belong, get them some food and water, uh, Minnie and her calf. Maybe I'll name it Winnie the calf. And so then we'll have Minnie and Winnie. So what do you think of that? Um, yeah, gonna get them food and water. I'll leave them in there for about 24 hours. Then we'll put, the two calves together and I was waiting for another calf to be born before I kicked these guys out. So now that we have another calf, when the cows come in somewhat closer, I will go ahead and get them out so all the babies and moms can be together and then just two heifers left waiting on them. So really nice day. Um, super glad that everything went good so far today and I don't know, maybe we'll have another one. Maybe 20 will calve. I think she's close. I thought the other day she was gonna calve, but that's how heifers are, so. Yeah, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed that live birth. It's fun when I get to catch one, you know, in kind of entirety. And so you guys can see what that looks like. So have a great day and I'll see you next time.